access the header and footer of the theme, you'll need at least one page created using the theme. You can create a page directly from the theme settings or navigate to Marketing, Website, and click Website Pages to reach the Website Pages dashboard. Click the Create button in the top right. In the dialog that opens, choose the website domain, enter a page name, and click Create Page. Then we'll select the template we want to use on this page. Once in the page editor, we can either click directly on the header or open the contents tab in the left-hand sidebar and click the website header module. We'll then click the Open in Global Content Editor button to redirect to the editor for our header. This global content editor is very similar to the page editor and will allow you to drag and drop any modules you want into the available drag and drop areas above and below the site navigation menu. The menu itself is a static area, and to edit the modules within, we'll click into the Contents tab in the left-hand sidebar and click on the modules we want to edit. By default, your logo and the link on the logo will be pulled from your portal settings, but if you want to change it here, you can select Override Default Logo. This will also allow you to change the alt text, width, height, and link of the logo. Once you've completed editing your site header, click the Publish button in the top right to publish your changes. This will redirect you back to the page we entered from, where we can then scroll down to the bottom and click our footer, or open the Contents tab in the left-hand sidebar and click on the Website Footer module to again take us to the Global Content Editor. Unlike the header, which has static modules, the entirety of the footer is drag and drop, so you can remove, add, and rearrange modules to build your footer out however you'd like. By default, our predefined footer layouts usually include a social links module, simple menus, and a rich text with copyright information. When you're done editing your footer, click the Publish button to publish your changes and be redirected back to the page editor.